WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange extradition to the U.S. from Britain was put on hold today after London's high court said the U.S. must provide assurance he would not face the death penalty. U.S. prosecutors are seeking to put Assange on trial on 18 counts over WikiLeaks' high-profile release of confidential U.S. military records. Assange lawyers sought permission to challenge Britain's approval of his extradition. In their ruling, two senior judges said he had a real prospect of successfully appealing against extradition on a number of grounds. We've got more national headlines. Alan Miller here with that. Well, Monica Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich, accused by Russia of spying, had his pretrial detention extended by three months to June 30th. Gershkovich, his paper, and the U.S. government all strongly deny the charges, which carry a sentence of up to 20 years in prison. He has failed in repeated appeals against his detention, which has already been extended several times. For the first time in nearly 30 years, part of former President Trump's business empire has gone public. Trump Media and Technology Group, which owns the social media platform Truth Social, began its long-delayed journey as a public company at today's opening bell. The valuation is a massive windfall for Mr. Trump, who owns a dominant stake of 79 million shares. At its opening, the price for the company was worth nearly $6 billion. And one of the stories we're working on for First News at 6, a former KFYR-TV reporter who lives in Baltimore, shares his take on how the bridge collapse there has affected residents. Back to you, Monica. 